What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So, last episode, we battled Misty, did a fishing contest, and we found out the, g the gym leader of this city is actually our freaking older brother. As Happy gives us an escape rope. Is that a sign? I don't know. Well, um, we did find out also that we're not able to battle the gym leader of the city until we have seven badges. He's the final gym leader, which is cool. We're going to go ahead and get a nice little heal going here, and then I guess we'll figure out where we're supposed to go next, because we're kind of left with a little bit of a dead end here. Um, it didn't really say what we're supposed to do, but I assume we're just going to kind of make our way toward a new city, and then we'll kind of circle back to this place uh, to get our 8th badge later. So, we are all healed up and ready to go. The team looks pretty solid. Um, I guess one thing to note is that we haven't actually seen Rodney in a while. Uh, we might have to battle that dude. We got this freaking egg, which I haven't really ran around with. I do still need to train Monsoon quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so let's actually take a look at the Poke Gear here. Um, we need to see... Where the hell on the map we even are? Okay, so over this way we have the League Village. That's the Pokemon League. Not going to be going there for a while. Which that means I assume we're going to head right from here. And that leads to the Goo Pool Swamp, which sounds fun. And then we have the Rainbow Reef. And then next is Coralite Town. I do remember hearing some stuff about that. So that's probably where we're going to head. Uh, seeing as I think we kind of knocked out everything there is to do in the city. So let's head back over this way. I think we go right here. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, it's not letting me. Hello? What are you doing, Happy? Oh, it's this freaking lady. Okay, so it's her again. Oh, hey, Hayden. How are you? How was the fishing contest? It was, it was pretty swell. I almost forgot Professor Pinewood is here in Waytide City. He wanted me to find you because he has something important to tell us about this Team Solar and Team Lunar people. Hurry. He's at the aquarium. Rodney and Wade are there, too. Come and follow me. Okay, well, cool. Um, I kind of figured they were going to do something more with the aquarium. It seems like a pretty cool place, so I guess it does have some significance. Let's head in here. I think this is the aquarium. Yep. Hello, friends. Where are y'all at? Oh, okay. So, the whole gang is here. Nice little reunion going on. Ah, Hayden, you've arrived. So, what do you have to tell us, Professor? Found out some information about Team Solar and Team Lunar. Those are the crooks who stole that little girl's Pokemon. It was dicks. Yes, Kira. They're both different teams with the same goal, to take over the Rakota region. How would they do that, though? Has something to do with the temples, and we're aware of that. Correct, both teams are trying to gather the five elemental stones in order to open a portal where Solarian, Solarin and Lunaro sleep. Solarin? Lunaro? Legend has it, has it that the five elemental Pokemon, Pterodon, Tigacor, Seerine, Tornadowl, and Aethra, use their powers to steal away these Pokemon in another dimension to end the war between them. Interesting, we got some legendary shit going on. Why was that war between them? Uh, why was there war between them? Both Pokemon were born from an eclipse. They are the same Pokemon in a sense. Solaran was born from the light of the eclipse, and Lunara was born from the shadow of the eclipse. Interesting. So they're like twins. Exactly. So Team Solar and Team Lunar are both gathering these stones to set them free. Yes, although these stones aren't the only thing they're searching for, uh, they also need to find the Sun Crystal and the Moon Crystal. Without them, Solarian, Solarin and Lunara won't be controlled and will cause devastation across the region. Intense, but both teams already have a stone each, and Hayden has the core stone, so that means that there are still two more stones out there. Yes, I don't see how these teams will plan to work. The team's plan will work. I mean, all five stones need to be get together for it to work, and if they're all separated, it won't work. See, I got, a, I have a stone. I'm important, which is why I think they have backup plans. Uh, these teams are dangerous, and will do anything to get the control of the Rakota region. We won't let them get the stones, right, guys? Right. Not on our watch, Professor. I knew you were, three were a good choice for the Pokedex, but please be careful. I know you can handle yourselves. You have come so far, Hayden. You must protect that stone from the teams, and you must not let them know you have it. We'll help, Hayden. All right, I trust you will. Professor, wasn't well, there something you wanted to give these three? Ooh, we're getting something. That's right. I want you to give you these surfboards. A, so we can actually surf now, which is great, um, because that actually allows us to head right and then through that channel area. So um, we about to go shred some sweet gnar. To allow you to surf along water and get to places you couldn't before. Well, kids, I must go. I have some research to do in Goo Pool Swamp. Good luck, trainers. Well, that's actually where we're headed, so I assume we're going to see the professor here pretty soon. Right, guys, you know how far... How, how far? And you know how it goes for this gym battle. Once all, all three of you have seven badges, I will battle you. But for now, I must get back to the gym. So we ain't strong enough to battle freaking Wade. I know we can do this, Hayden and Rodney. Team Solar and Team Lunar won't win. So pumped. Gonna go in terrain. I'll see you guys around. All right, cool. Well, we got a little bit of a sense of direction now. Kira's right. As long as we stick together, they won't win. You should go to Goopool Swamp. It's in the eastern area of Route 9. So it kind of tells us where to go. 
I really do like the pacing in this game. They always they always give you something to do. All right. So we're just gonna head back to where we were going in the first place. We just found up some found out some cool information about the legendaries, so that's kind of fun. But we're back on Route Nine, and from here we just need to. Oh, I freaking I hit that I hit that thing, and I was like, wait, somebody's stopping me again. But <laughs> but nope. Ooh, okay. So let's actually bust out the old surfboard. Water's a deep blue. Would you like to surf on it? Sure would. So, we, uh, doesn't look like too much of a surfboard, but that's kind of cool. We got ourselves some wise glasses here. What are the wise glasses? Let's take a look at this. Might be kind of cool, some type of hold item. Uh, a thick pair of glasses that slightly boost the power of special moves. And, uh, that's actually kind of interesting. I like that. Charlotte don't need that. Charlotte actually doesn't have an item right now. We'll, we'll give you one later. You know, we should probably actually put you in front my good sir, because you need some loving. All right. So wise glasses. That's an. I assume that's kind of going to be like an expert belt, just for all special items, which is cool. But freaking Palmo's in the way. Get out of here, Ike. I got important shit to be taken care of. We're going to the swamp. So I believe the fishing area was just over yonder. Or fishing, surfing area. Yep. So we're just going to go ahead and cross right here. It looks like we do have quite a bit of trainers as well so that should be fun what's up guys hello can't you swim on your own uh, I mean no apparently I needed a damn surfboard he never even taught me how to surf just tosses me a surfboard and he's like have fun with it all right level 31 surfied we can just access you I assume you're just pure water type I'm not really sure what that thing's about but you go down so that's good monsoon grows to level 34 next is another surfied we can you know what let's try this thing out here Shiny boy, first time in battle. We should be good enough to train this thing, considering we're level 34 now. Look at him, sparkles. All right, level 31, boy. We're just going to give you a nice little leaf tornado. See how you like that. Chip away. So help me God if this thing dies in its first battle ever. I will be so sad. Okay, we can take one attack. Okay, this is going to surf on us. That's fine. We resist the hell out of that. And leaf tornado is going to do it. I think Surfide is such an interesting Pokemon. Stop. Don't tell me what to do, sir. What are you doing, lady? So this is still the same route. We did catch a Pokemon on here. We got a Palmo uh, last episode here, so we don't get it to get anything new. But we are going to be in the swamp area soon. And damn, she's looking thick. Got a Crab Blue. Um, we know that these things have those rock moves, but we should be okay. x Scissor doesn't quite knock it out. Bubble Beam, that's fine. It kind of looks like a clam crab. I don't know what I don't know what this thing's deal is. Well, right, it's gonna knock it out. Monsoon getting some. Ooh, and a porfin. What? Uh, okay, I think we've seen. I think we've seen porfin before, right? And what is cross poison compared to Exazer? I always forget. Exazer being 80, cross poison 70. So we'll just stick to stick to Exazer and things. Yeet. Young Porfin ain't too strong. He going down. All right. My lovely Pokemon. Sorry about that. Got ourselves an item here. It's TM12 for Taunt. We'll probably never end up using that, but that's cool to get. Thank you for that. And all right. Oh, uh-oh. This is not good. We don't like to see. Oh, Hayden, you made it. The surfboard we got from the professor is so useful. So this is the entrance to Goo Pool Swamp. It's said to be a very mysterious area. You should be well trained if you want to go there. So how about a battle? I've trained and reached five badges too, so this is not be e that easy. I will definitely beat you. Well, okay, I, I guess we knew a Rodney battle was coming. But let's hope that uh, we can get out of this okay. All right, so he leads off with a weak hit, a level 33. Um, we are just going to give you a little cross poison. I have actually heard from the comment section, you guys have said that this thing ends up being scary as hell once it evolves. But for now, it's just a little weak kid, so... One of our cross poisons is going to knock you out. Next is the Terra Volt thingy. We don't really want to stay in against that. For Terra Volt, let's just go... We'll probably just go Marvin. I'm sure Marvin's at a good level for this. So we'll just send in old Starvin Marvin boy. Holy shit. Okay, that's an evolved... It... Wow. All right, it's only level 33. Uh, but it's pretty damn crazy looking. I actually really like that thing. What a cool-ass design. I love it. All right, well, you're probably not going to like... Uh... This here is Psy Psy Shock too much? I'm not sure. What type is this thing? Is it just flying electric? It freaking misses. Look at that horn on its freaking head. Alright, well, so Marvin 
and pretty much the rest of the gang is at a really good level here. Okay, there's the forest stone. We're just going to switch right into happy. We're not as afraid of this thing anymore because we know that, uh, I mean, happy can knock this thing out pretty easily. But uh, once it evolves, it might be a little bit spooky. It's level 35. Okay, so kind of scary. It's going to need a couple rollout to be able to do too much to us. Or I think actually Razor Leaf or whatever its grass move is would be better. But Bulldoze, actually. Okay. Um, so far, we've not really, li really liked ground moves. But that does absolutely nothing. Why did that Bulldoze do nothing? Happy thick as hell these days. And that's going to knock it out. So next is a Budsore. What is the... Budsaur. Hello? Should we go back into Charlotte for that? We're going to go back into Charlotte here. I really also do want to hatch this egg. I probably should have ran around at the end of last episode. Oh, Budsaur is just... Oh, Jesus. I thought it was something different. It's the fucking evolved form of his bird boy. Okay, that's not good. We're going to definitely have to switch here because you have probably some crazy bird attack, flying attack. I don't know. Okay, just wing attack actually is its strongest, but I'm not so, not so crazy about this thing's design. Looking pretty weird there, young bud sore. We're just going to give you a shockwave, which should do the trick. Maybe not. All right, lives it, barely. I don't know why I clicked shockwave, but I just felt like taking advantage of shockwave. Sometimes you got to switch the moves up. I really should have just gone for lightning strike, but that's fine. One more shockwave is going to do it, and it looks like uh, Rodney's not as scary anymore, which is great. Monsoon grows to level 35. I don't know what level that thing evolves. Marvin's actually 41, and the loon ape so we do know that dracula is a good matchup against the loon ape this thing being a psychic type we can just uh hit you with a crunch this thing also looks super awkward looking too it's like he's coming and saying it's my turn on the xbox mom said anyway crunch knocks it out and um uh, we also grow to level 40 trying to learn mean look why would we learn mean look at 40 who wants mean look no thank you all right rodney's been defeated not again Get $3,500. Oh no, you beat me once again. Never mind, let me heal your Pokemon. So he does give us a nice little heal, so we're ready to take on some some cool stuff in the swamp. We also get to catch a new Pokemon here, which would be pretty cool. By the way, have you seen the rocks on the beach? You're able to smash them with the move Rock Smash. There's also another way. You can use a hammer. Bought one for me, but I thought I could also be a good help for you and Kira. So you can take it. He actually gives us a hammer. Okay, so now we can use Rock Smash. Um, I haven't really been paying too much attention. Appear all over the region. Heard you can fun sometimes find an item in it. So I guess we could go smash some rocks with our hammer. He said there was stuff on the beach. Who knows? Let's go check. Uh, was there a rock over here? There is a rock over this way. Probably leads to an item. Although it doesn't let us use our freaking hammer. Hello? Why can I not smash this? Can't use that here. Okay. Well, that looks like it would be a rock smash rock. But apparently we, <laughs> we can't hammer that. So we're just going to continue. And see what this next route's looking like. What's up, sir? Heard so many spooky stories about the cabin in the swamp that I have nightmares. Cabin in the swamp, huh? Well, we're gonna go check that out. Probably some ghost Pokemon in there, which would be cool. Ooh, and it looks spooky as hell up in here. Bring it on, punk. And of course, there's these guys hanging out in the swamp. Nice hair, punk guy Felix. He has a Trollo, which is a new mon we have not seen before. Level 32. Uh, don't know what the hell this thing is, but it looks like a, a Sneasel that lost all of its fur. I don't know. Sneasel doesn't really have fur, but I don't know. We're going to give it an X scissor, see what that does. I don't... Okay, that just knocks it out. Good. This is good news. All right, next is a Monstrap. No idea what a Monstrap is either. We're just going to stay in and... Oh, it's the fucking evolved form of that thing. Okay. Um, so this thing is Dark type, which is good for us. We're just going to X scissor you. I think it's Dark type. Yeah, right? It was the Dark... Dark Grass Mon. Anyway. I kind of thought I was going to need to grind up, but it looks like we're in a good spot. Next is a slib blue. Jesus, I don't know what any of these things are. We're just going to stay in. Oh my god, it's adorable. It's like a little, um... It reminds me of Surskit, kind of. But I, I like this thing. Okay. Poison's not very effective on it. And it's going to go for a minimize now, which is freaking annoying. But we should be able... We should be fine with just one. Let's crunch ya. Excessor was probably my best bet there, but, you know, whatever. Alright. So we defeated our first punk guy. And that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Anyway, so we can catch the very first Pokemon we come across here. And we got a, we ran into it quick. And it turns out to be one of these damn manged Sneasels. Level 31 Trollo. Um, which is pretty cool. Anyway. I don't really know how I should weaken this thing. Let's maybe go into Monsoon. Monsoon could probably help us out here. Here we go, buddy. We come out of Sparkling. It's gonna go for a switcheroo. 
Ah, but failed. Mm, and okay, let's just go for a couple Aqua Jets, maybe. I don't want to kill it, because, Jesus Christ, that did a lot. Alright, it has False Swipe, which is great, because <laughs> don't have to worry about that killing us. Anyway, let's just go for, uh, let's try a Friend Ball. Let's see if this thing wants to be our friend. Please be my friend, Trollo. And we do catch it in the friend ball, so. Anyway, this thing seems like it's going to be a troll. So it's Dark and Fairy, which is a very cool typing. Trollo oftenly sneaks into hu oftenly. Uh, it seems like that's a weird word. Sneaks into human res residences and moves move objects around, then hide in a corner to watch as the owners express confusion on the <laughs> on the state in their houses. <laughs> so it's definitely a troll, and uh, we're just going to name you Troll. Because that's actually kind of funny. He totally looks like he would just be an absolute asshole Pokemon. Dark Fairy. That's actually pretty sweet. Maybe we should add this to the team. We'll see what this egg hatches into, but we got that, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, doesn't look like we can... Do we have to surf across this shit? We do have to bust out the surfboard in the swamp. Seems a little bit weird, but we're going to do it. And then there's an item here. We'll go ahead and snap it, snip it, snap that down. And we got ourselves a Hyper Potion. Thank you for that. Okay, um, we can just go, okay, we ran into a freaking Pokemon, and oh my Jesus, it's a Toxodon. This thing is awesome, I would have loved to have this. I think it's probably better that we got the Dark Fairy type, but yo, this thing is badass. That would have been a great mon. It's always the second mon that ends up being the one I want. And just more of these, these are Toxodons. Keep in mind, if we do find a shiny, we can always add that to the team. Um, there's the shiny claws, but I mean, I've been really unlucky in finding shinies. I've only found one, and it still took me like an hour, like of just pure grinding. I've grinded for like five hours total, and I've found one shiny. The odds in this game are supposed to be much better. I think it's like one in like a hundred or something, but ridiculous. Anyway, what's up, bug catcher guy? You ready to get beat up by a spider? Craig here has two Pokemon. He has an Aquilar Aklarva. Which is crazy as hell looking. Okay, not sure how to feel about this thing. It's a water bug type that is in a little bubble. And uh, x is going to take care of it. We'll probably get Charlotte up to like 39 or maybe 40. And then we'll start using our our new buddy, Monsoon. But next is a Widox. So we don't really have much for that. We'll go into Happy because Happy is actually only level 38 too. We need to get Happy some levels too. I think if we're around 40. We're probably in a good spot because... I mean, we do... Oops, accidentally just clicked the first move. Bulldoze is not what we wanted against the damn Widog. I guess it's neutral, but... That poison bug typing. Okay, we're going to just give you a quick attack, and that'll do the job. We will grow to level thir level 39 after this, though, so that's good. Happy's looking solid. We cannot let anything happen to Happy. Ooh, we're trying to learn Leaf Blade. Nice. Okay, we'll definitely learn Leaf Blade. I'm not sure if this thing is more of a... Ooh, this is actually... This is tough. I assume this thing's more of a physical attacker. It learned Aqua Slam. Uh, Leaf Tornado being long. We're going to get rid of Leaf Tornado. Even though Leaf Tornado is pretty cool, we're just going to we're gonna do that. Thank you. Stomped. Yeah, get stomped out, buddy. All right, let's take a look at our um, our Monsoon buddy here. Let's make sure we... I always forget to check on stats. Okay, our attack is much, much better. So, that is good to know. Anyway, continuing on. We use a nice, this is a nice looking boulder right here. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Some mo more waters in, waters in the mons, mons in the water. Freaking Trollo, get out of here, buddy. I really want to know what this thing evolves into. I might just have to use it just to see what our buddy Troll turns into. Even on the surfboard, we'd be running. Oh my Jesus, what is that? A swamp heap. That is an absolute abomination is what that is. My God. It's like a deformed mossy muck. <laughs> And I hopped off at the wrong part there, so I gotta get right back on. Is there a hidden item right here? Seems like there'd be something. Hello? Um, no, I guess not. Well, that's fine. We do have to freaking surf one more time just to get over this way. And we've done it. Alright. What's up, punk guy? What do you want, kid? I don't know, man. I've just, just seen how your day's going. Why do you gotta be such a dick, Sean? He has a Toxodon, level 33, so assuming you're just a freaking poison type, probably don't want to do with much to do with you, so we're just going to switch right into Happy. Um, we should be okay here. This thing looks like it would be maybe Rock type too. It's going to go for a Dig. Okay, that, that's fine. That's totally fine. We're just going to uh, we're gonna bulldoze you. 
It would be great if Bulldoze worked while well, this thing's underground, kind of like Earthquake does, but unfortunately it does not. Critical hit freaking hurts. And we'll just Bulldoze you again, which should knock you out because, uh, you know, poison type and all that stuff. Yep, that does knock it out with a crit. So many crits in this damn game. Scariest game to Nuzlocke because I swear to God, crits happen one in three attacks. Anyway, what's next? Next, you got a Trollo. All right, we are. We have learned that we're fine against Trollos, especially with Charlotte. I mean, I have uh, two different physical, two different uh, super effective moves. We're just gonna act scissor, and that's gonna do the trick. See you later, Trolley, Trolley boy. Battle over. That is correct. Okay, uh, so we can go that way, we can go this way, but there is just a Pokeball here, so we'll snag that. TM36 for Sludge Bomb. That is pretty damn nice. We will definitely take that. And then, uh, let's see. I wonder how big this damn swamp is. It seems like it was a pretty big area, because then we get into, like, a coral or the reef area or whatever it was. More Trollos. And, oh my Jesus, this lady looked crazy as hell. You look like you would be... Like an important character because of the hair, but you're probably just a punk girl. Yep, just uh, just punk girl Shauna here has a purple. My god, it's like poi pole, except this thing is fucking adorable. I need it. I'm gonna X scissor because I don't know. Okay, it's not very effective, but still just about knocks it out. It's gonna go for a sludge bomb. So definitely just a little poison type boy. I love this thing. Oh my god. It reminds me of baby Dory from Finding Dory. Too damn adorable. All right, we do grow to level 39 there, looking nice. And next is a Hollowweed. Please tell me it's a marijuana Pokemon. Okay, it's it's a pumpkin. <laughs> it's uh, I'm assuming it's it's just a ghost. T it's kind of like a uh, Pumpkaboo. That's kind of badass. All right, he's gonna go for a Trick or Treat. Transformed into the Ghost type. I forgot that that's what that did. Trick or Treat, huh? Well. One more cross poison is gonna do it, and uh, interesting Pokemon, a Halloween. It probably evolves into like, I picture like the Pumpkin from Yu-Gi-Oh. If you guys are familiar with that Pokemon card or Yu-Gi-Oh card, I don't remember why I remember that, but for some reason the Pumpkin is just always in in my head. I don't know. Thinking about that Pumpkin all the damn time. Dahlia here has three Pokemon. You got one of these little purples. I absolutely love this damn thing. It is a shame to kill, but I will do it anyway. Uh, we'll crunch it because that's neutral. And uh, that actually just knocks it out. I'm afraid to start using Weed Sea because I know that there's so many poison types here. It's really just not the best idea. Anyway, a Caplash. Holy shit, what is this thing? I do not like this thing, so we're gonna kill you. X Scissor is super effective. The fuck was up with that thing? I never want to see that again. And a Gekkon. We have seen many Gekkons. Um, we know that we can just go right into Dracula. Freaking psychic type. This thing killed one of my things one time, and I hate this thing for that reason, so I'm gonna give you a crunch. Stupid ass little Spider Man looking gecko. You must die. Thank you for the death. Get ourselves some solid experience. Too strong. Yeah, we're too damn strong. Okay, uh, so we can go this way, which there is a cut tree, and it leads to a new area where we could surf, so that's probably where we're supposed to go. Who knows? We're just gonna go this way and see. Oh, I know, we don't, we don't surf, it's just an item. We do have to surf to get to the damn item. False alarm. And it is TM06 for Toxic, so that's useful too. We're getting all sorts of um, all sorts of poison TMs today. That's pretty nice. Also, um, Charlotte has officially gotten to the same level as Happy. We'll probably get you to level 40, and then we'll start using Happy. Because we don't want Happy to fall behind. That is the last thing we want. Hey, and it's one of these, these ugly-ass cap lashes. What is on your head, sir? Why do you have a war turtle tail? I have too many questions for you. All right, back on track. Um, freaking wild Pokemon everywhere. I guess it's kind of good to just, oh my Jesus, it's one of them little, little Halloweeds. Hey buddy, you looked red for a second, so I thought you were shiny. I was about to freak the fuck out, but you're not, so that's fine. All right, back on the damn surfboard. It's kind of annoying how they're making us use the surfboard so much that doesn't add difficulty, just freaking tedious. I love this swamp. You can catch as much Skeladeep as you want. Want to see mine? Skeladeep? That is not something I've seen before, I don't think, right? Skeladeep? Oh, it's... Oh, my... Okay, it's like... Uh, reminds me of Relicant. That's actually a really cool Pokemon. It's it's uh, like a bonefish. Very interesting. Let's go into Monsoon for this thing. Um, being level 36, we're probably in a pretty good spot. Here we go, Monsoon. You got this, buddy. It's going to hit us with an Aqua Gent. We resist that. That's fine. 
He says so 68. We're just gonna leaf blade you. And uh, assurance. Oh geez. Okay. Too close for comfort there. I really feel like Monsoon's got to evolve soon. We really, we've got to be getting there. Let's actually go for a potion here because I do not want things to die. We're gonna super potion you. Get you back to full, buddy. I actually really do like the skeleton deep thing too. A little deep sea skeleton boy. Actually pretty badass. All right, one more Leaf Blade's gonna do it after we take this damn Aqua Jet. Please get out of here, Skeledeep. All right, he probably has freaking three of these things. Ooh, Cursed Body. Interesting, we uh, do grow to level 37 there, looking nice. And another Skeledeep. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and switch. Let's just let Dracula take care of it. I really do need to hatch this egg. I promise you next episode, I'll have that egg hatched just to see just to see what the hell it turns into. I accidentally just hit Hyperfang and we met it doesn't affect because it's freaking ghost type. Jesus titties. Okay, just crunch you then. Meant to hit crunch in the first place. And at least we'll get all our health back there from the old bloodthirst, I hope at least. Bloodthirst doesn't seem to give us back too much, but you know it, it helps a little bit, I guess. It's the thought that counts. We got a shit ton of experience. And next is just another skeleton deep. So we can go back into our weed sea here. We know that weed sea take care of these lads these uh ghost water type i assume it is level 32 catch this leaf blade son stop it with the aqua jets we have like no hp please evolve pretty soon here monsoon maybe it's 38 who knows oh creaking cursed body okay leaf blade is to say okay let's just uh let's see if an aqua jet oh we both used aqua jet he has higher speed so he goes first i don't think mine's even gonna kill it but we tried anyway anyway and okay yep definitely not damn it monsoon we got an aqua slam assurance no crit thank you and we did it all right that cursed body is actually quite annoying anyway just killed three of this guy's damn skeleton deeps quite annoying but we are ready to continue if watch this is gonna be a skeleton deep now nope just another Kaplash. Kaplash with his weird little hat he got on there. He's got a little puddle on your hat, buddy. Shake that shit off. Alright, and there's also a doctor guy. I'll heal your Pokemon if you beat me. So that's actually really nice. We like we love to see these guys around. They're very helpful lads. Alright, Conrad just has two Pokemon. He has a slip blue. And we do like these we do like we like these little boys. We're just gonna give you an X scissor, I assume, your poison type. But uh yep. Two X scissors, easily gonna do. I should have just crunched, which I have had prior knowledge of doing before, but I forget things. So we just X scissor. When in doubt, just X scissor it out. That's the motto. Down you go. Almost level 40. Next is an Aqualarva. Aqualarva. Very weird name to pronounce, but uh, we're just gonna give you an X scissor. So luckily he is gonna heal us up after this because we do need some health and some PP. And we just out here running dry. We got a level 40 there. Looking, ooh, we're trying to learn Felstinger. Um, we're probably not going to learn Felstinger because it's only 30 power. It does give you an attack boost if you knock something out, uh, but we're just going to we're going to we're not going to learn that. I will heal your Pokemon. Thank you, sir. So we get nice and refreshed and ready to go. And uh, whenever you want. So I assume that means that this is going to be quite the. Um, oh, oh shit! Something's happening. What's going on here? Oh my god, did you hear our cries? We were just looking in the graveyard for something special, but then a creepy man appeared out of nowhere. What? You mean it could be a ghost? Stop joking. Ghosts don't exist. We should go back. Commander Scarlet sure isn't happy with us running away because of this ghostly guy. He's like really familiar. This is the kid who battled us in Dolphin Forest in front of the eyes of Commander Scarlet? Sure is. Because of you, our commander was really angry about us. Mercifully, she didn't tell leader Derek. This must be fate. We had to battle you again and your time has come. All right, so we get another battle here with some freaking Team Lunar people. They have two Pokemon each. I probably, I wish I was more prepared for this. Oh my god, it's a ter Terra Terror. They got double Spideys. Look at that. I have a Charlotte as well. Okay, um, wow, that freaking Terra Terror is actually awesome. We have Intimidate. Oh, jeez. Don't intimidate me, you dickhead. Okay, um, we're just gonna crunch this thing. I'm way more afraid of the terror boy because I'm gonna actually Aurora Beam because the Intimidate, but we'll see if we can just, oh my God, that crunched another. Yep, it's definitely, it, okay, I'm an idiot. It's Dark Bug and Aurora Beam does nothing. We take a crunch. I'm always so afraid of these fucking double battles, man. 
Hyperfang. Okay, we should be good here though. Uh, let's just go for X Scissor being neutral, and then we'll Aurora beam that thing so we can just knock this freaking Terror Boy out. And okay, that does do it. Super effective. Should have done that in the damn first place. I forgot what type that thing is. So now we just get the Aurora beam off on the Winox. We gonna pee on you, buddy. And now I was just gonna pin missile and actually miss. Ha! You damn fool. I'm actually a little bit upset. I got the way cool, like less cool looking spider, but that's fine. Um, we're just gonna probably stay in here and we'll go for a crunch on that one and then we'll go for an Aurora beam on this one. So many spiders. Crunch knocks out that Widox. Hitting us with the young double Widoxes. Get ourselves a buttload of experience and agility. Why would you go for agility? What a great move, buddy. Great move, okay. One more Pokemon, it's just a Monstrap. We should be good here. We'll give that an X Scissor. And then we'll give one last Aurora Beam to you. And it looks like we've done it. Poison Fang don't hurt. Yo, I got nothing. I do I do actually really like these people's team though. They got you got some cool shit. X Scissor knocks out your Monstrap. Kinda reminds me of a freaking piranha plant. Happy grows to level 40, looking nice. And Aurora Beam takes care of the Spidey. Fun stuff. We're good at level 41 there, too. Hot damn. We are high level as shit. Unbelievable. Not again. Yes, again. We lost again. Luckily, Commander Scarlet wasn't here to see our defeat. I've seen enough to tell you fools that you failed again. Oh, she here. You guys are idiots. Scarlet is here. Plot twist. I'm sorry for running away. Please forgive me, Commander, but this creepy man was so scary. Scared? What has come over you? How will you survive in Team Leader's world of chaos if you're scared by Ghostly Guy? We're so sorry, Commander Scarlet. You two are hopeless. You can consider yourself lucky that I'll still be your commander in the new world. But in addition to running away, you two lost this little twerp again. It seems you're chasing us. You really like to place yourself in danger, eh? It's time for a lesson. I've waited for this after our first battle. Goon's out of my way. This twerp is mine. Oh, Jesus. Now we gotta battle this lady? Man, luckily they placed that doctor guy right before this, because now we have a full-on boss battle. Hot damn. All right, Scarlet, what's up? She just has two Pokemon. She leads with a Banshriek, which is definitely a new Pokemon. We have not seen you. Um, we're going to, before anything, we're going to go ahead and bust out a little Lemonade. Just to kind of see what this thing does. I assume it's just a ghost type. We could probably crunch it for a lot of damage, but we'll see. It's going to go for a Hex. Oh my Jesus, the Hex animation is fucking spooky as hell. Okay, that does kind of a lot of damage. And uh, I'm afraid of this thing. So you know what? We're... <laughs> We're gonna switch. I feel like I'm just gonna get critted by something even crazier, and that's not gonna be fun. So we're just gonna go right into Dracula here. As it's just gonna go for a Hyper Voice now. Okay, just yells at me a little bit. Does a decent amount of damage, but now we can crunch. And we can get some Bloodthirst damage. Or Bloodthirst health back. Does knock it out in one hit. That's right, Dracula. The goodest boy. And there's just one left. We do grow to level 41 there, looking nice. And last but not least is a Terra Terror. So, we'll just stay in here for this thing. Young Terra Terror. Freaking Intimidate is annoying, though. Don't think this thing has much to hit us with. We'll just go for an Acrobatics. Did I ever take the damn item off of Dracula? I don't think I did. That Acrobatics did not do enough. Just gonna bite. Why did I? Why do I always forget to do that to you, Dracula? What the fuck? Do I still have the Lucky Egg on you? I do! God damn it, why do I... Why am I like this? Probably the most forgetful person ever, but it, you know, it's, it's okay. We'll just go for two more acrobatics. <laughs> Would have been a two-hit KO, but since I have an item on this damn thing, it doesn't have full damage, and uh, I am stupid. That's fine, though. One last Baddix, go and do it. And uh, you didn't, honestly, your Pokemon, I mean, level 38, I guess, is kind of scary, but this lady isn't all that intimidating. You are getting on my nerves, twerp. Get $2,000. Annoying, it's just one loss. You won't be able to stop our plans, twerp. Goons, we're leaving. I'm sure we won't find here what we came for. Remember my words in Team Lunar's world? You have to obey what I'm saying. Well, so, it looks like we're soon going to be able to go ahead and see what they're talking about in, like, the ghost place. So, we'll actually remember to take off the damn lucky egg from you. And, alright, guys, we're going to end the episode here. But next time, we're going to go see what else is lurking in this uh, forest. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.